Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Woo! Today it's hot. It is hot. Summer is here. My goodness, what happened? It was only like a week, week and a half ago. We had a little cold front come in where I had to wear a hoodie for like three days straight. It was right around the time we got done building the loft and the chicken coop. But today we're doing a little pigeon trapping action and I figured we'd kick it off back here at the coop. Check out how large the ducks have got. They're huge. Come here ducks. Come here man. I bet you if I get some food they'll come running. First off, we gotta get them some, some fresh water here. Well, long story short, this little pond for the ducks it's just not gonna work for very much longer. They're all back in there. They won't come out and say hi. But we have gotten more ducks, I think three more. And that little pond is not gonna do it. I need y'all's recommendation. I wanna build a little duck pond. And I wanna build it right back here so we can leave the door open on the coop and they can go in and out as they want. And they can have a nice lined pond right here. What do y'all think I should do? I think it'd be good for them. The bad thing is there's no shade. That water is gonna become stagnant real quick. I'm gonna to have to put a pump in it. Gonna keep it circulating to keep it from getting stagnant. So if you guys have any recommendations right here, if you think that's a good idea, fence it all in, little pond, I think it'd be fun. This is why I wanna build a pond. I have to change out that water every single day, darn near. And it just kinda of gets old, you know? I need something bigger where the ducks will be able to dive and swim and clean themselves. They love to swim, obviously. They're ducks, right? <laughs> Need a bigger pond. Let's get to checking these pigeon traps. Woo! Well, here we are. We've been running these traps real hard. I'm hoping we got some... Oh, no, we don't. Nothing new. Wow. This is day number two checking this trap. And those are our bait birds still that we have in here. Been keeping them fed and watered. They're good to go. They got shade. My goodness, still nothing. This trap will just produce one day and then it won't for like a week. It's weird. Well, that being said, let's head to this truck stop. Uh, I got a couple of surprises. I brought the net. After the last netting video, a lot of you guys were like, Bob, why don't you just have the net ready so when you get up on that roof, you know, for the first time, just run and try to net what you can before it escapes. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna see what we have in the traps. So after that, we gotta to go to my old house because in the moving process, I, I might have lost, I might have let go on accident. Oh yeah, two pigeons and they're just hanging out at my old house in one little spot. So we're gonna go try to do that too. Well, we're up here and we're fitting to check. Woo, the traps, Woo, it's hot up here, my goodness. Uh, I wanna show you guys this. On the last pigeon netting video, I hinted around about it, but on Jordan's video, he's talked a lot about it before. Uh, I just started hitting on it. We have a competitor who's up here trapping and we can't figure out who it is. So this is what I've done. <laughs> Cheat code number one, boys. If you're ever curious uh, who's coming around, put a trail cam up. So I'm gonna let that sucker bake one more day and then we're gonna check it. So on the next trapping netting pigeon video, be looking out because hopefully we caught who it is. Well, I'll be darned. The competitor has put his traps over there in the corner right there. And I believe this is Jordan's trap, if I'm not mistaken. Got a bait bird in there, nothing else. Just see if we can catch a bird though. That's what I'd really like to look at all this. He has one, two, three, four, five, and a bait bird in this trap. Oh, and there's a note on the top. No way. Let's see if we can catch one of these birds real quick. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh! Oh. Son of a... That's way harder holding the camera. I need my GoPro, boys. Get out of there. No way. Check this out. A note. Bobby and Jordan. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, well, we may not have to, uh, we may not have to check the camera. Looks like the other trapping guy has left a note. 
What in the world? Well, boy, howdy. This is a three-page ordeal right here. Uh, I am not going to give out the name of the guy because uh, he was kind, but uh, he was a little pissed off as well. And you know what? Dude, listen, Ron, I can tell you right now, and I'm not going to say your last name, but I'll tell you right now, there was more than one bird dead in that thing. There was plenty dead. There was three dead and one alive, okay? That was the problem. You didn't check your traps. You admitted to up to it, but I can tell you right now, we do check our traps. It takes two of us sometimes to check and bait these traps, and I'll give it to Jordan. He does it a lot more on this roof than me because a lot of you know I have my own trap on another roof. It takes a lot of time, especially when you work a nine to five like I'm sure you do, but we were not targeting anybody. No one knows who you are. For you to be defensive, whatever, man. Just check your traps, go about your day. Yes, there's plenty of pigeons for both of us to trap. I'll tell you that right now. Honestly, I understand. There's a ton of pigeons. We don't want them all. We don't need them all. And he did state that he uses the pigeons for dog training, just like I do. Dude, I'm not hating on you. We're not bashing. We couldn't figure out who you were. I asked the manager many a times who you were. She didn't even know. She had no names, no number. She's a great kind woman. And all we wanted to do was make sure that we could call somebody, see if we could get a hold of somebody. You is who I'm talking about, to see if you were gonna come up here and check these traps. If not, we would remove the trap or remove the birds from it like we did. So, dude, we're not in the wrong. I don't know what to tell you. You're more than welcome to keep trapping this up here. I am not the boss. So, thank you for leaving the note. Uh, looks like I don't have to check my camera. Uh, but the store owner wanted to know as well. So now that we know, I can tell the store owner who you are and whatever. But, looks like you put your traps over here. He said that he didn't realize how hot it was up here on this roof. And hey, yeah, I agree, man. It's it's really, really, really hot. And it just takes a little amount of time without water. And these birds are bombing out. So I appreciate the letter. I know you were a little ticked off. We didn't talk junk on you, man. Like you stated, we haven't been bashing you. We're just stating the, the God honest up here of what needs to be done. And it wasn't getting done right. So. The manager didn't even know who you were. So, don't know what to tell you, bud. Woo, boy, summer's here, it's 97 degrees. I can guarantee on that roof, uh, it blocks a lot of wind going on. So up on that roof, I can guarantee it, it's probably, it's well over 100. It, I guarantee the heat index up there, 105 probably. I mean, it's a scorcher. So, uh, yeah, it just goes to show you gotta keep water in your trap. Now, again, uh, I need to hit on something while it, while it's on my mind here. I was not expecting a note. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything. I just said that trail came up there to find out who it was. Now, this is my point. If it's been long enough to where a farmer or a business owner forgets your name, who d d has no idea who you could be, uh that's probably tells you you need to go ask for permission again just re-up your permission uh i do it a lot on fields and farmers one year a farmer will say yeah bobby go ahead and hunt it you're good for the rest of the season well when the next season fires up i usually call them get back a hold of them somehow and say hey this is bobby uh do you mind if i continue to hunt you know this upcoming season like i did last year so um that's just another tip not saying that our buddy did anything wrong as far as permission goes but the manager was wanting to find out who it was because we had to sign waivers to be up on this thing she she stated that she did not have any waivers from anybody else so uh mr mr ron if you're watching this look we never meant to offend you um but just having birds die in your trap, that's not very cool. So we just wanted to find out who you were and I guess it worked. We found, we found out. So our little scheme worked. No, I'm kidding. I'm not being that way about it. I'm just saying thanks for being up front, uh, telling, you know, informing us who you were and 
again, I couldn't read his whole note because he's pretty defensive and, and PO'd on a lot of it. He was like, you guys have editing systems and you can uh, edit your videos to make them look the way you want after you film them. And basically stating that we stole his live birds and put dead ones in there or something along those lines. I pretty much skipped through it because it was all gibberish to me. So we never meant to offend anybody. I know that you didn't either, my friend, but it's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Oh, and another thing in the note, uh, you did state, I bet you didn't think I watched your videos. Well, I watch all of them. Dude, you pigeon trapping, I was pretty sure that you watched either Jordan or I's videos, to be completely honest. So it didn't take long for this to come around. You know what I mean? Well, there you go. A hundred degrees out. I knew it was getting close. Well, <laughs> it's the next day. I needed to take a breather uh, from the whole situation. I needed to rethink my thoughts because I was getting a little negative minded and I didn't want to put that on camera. So it's the next day. We're here to check my trap on the other roof. And uh, same story. Just our two bait birds. That's it. Come on guys, you guys like dance better. Can't you do some singing, attract your buddies? Tell them you're having a barbecue, something. Invite your friends, come on. But like I was saying on the whole situation of uh, Mr. Ron, uh, look, his note, your note Ron, was uh, <laughs> how Jordan put it. Uh, it was really nice and pissy all at the same time, look. I get that you're upset that you were talked about, but no one, again, knows who you are, first of all. And second of all, man, it's really not that big of a deal, um, to be honest. I mean, I'm glad you watched the video so we were able to figure it out, and so you were able to understand that it was too hot not to have water in your cages. And believe me, me and Jordan, we're both there. I'm there once a day, he's there once a day. So those traps and those water bowls are getting filled at minimum twice a day and just checked didn't mean to make you mad uh i did we we did not uh, jordan and i speak for us both we didn't mean to make anybody mad we were just being honest wanting to find out who it was so that being said moving forward at least we know who you are and if you set your traps out again hey it's all fair game buddy i mean but right on, let's let's both catch pigeons. They're just as much as yours as mine, man. Yeah, oh well well, uh back home. And uh, you know, I let my wife read that note and she was like, Why is he so mad at you? And Jordan. And I'm like, you know, it's because he watched the videos. He watched the videos and he took it personal, which I understand why he would take it personal. But it was about you. I mean, the thing is, when you got dying animals that shouldn't be dying, man, all I can say, looking back and reading it again, it kind of just ticks me off again because him watching the videos, him getting defensive, he came at us pretty hard. And, and, and Ron, I, I, I'm not attacking you again. I just want to say that, to say that we, uh, we hinder our videos uh, through editing and... Um, I wasn't even gonna put that part in there and give you the time of day uh, by saying that, but that's ridiculous. We hinder, we, we like we put dead birds in your pit. I don't, whatever, man. Here we are back at the loft and uh, it's been a handful of days later, maybe even a week. Look how big the ducks are. They're huge. I mean huge. Them ducks are getting big. Come on, come on, come on out. This is our daily routine now. They love getting out here, prancing around, pecking at the grass. <laughs> They're getting huge. They're getting huge. Look at old Afro Top. He's one of my favorites. He's so cool. Starting to flap their wings too. Took forever for their wings to actually feather out, you know? But like I was saying right here, we are in fact gonna build us a little pond. There's a nice little ditch area right here and Gerald is gonna bring over a skid loader and we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna order a liner off of Amazon, I think. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put a 
a pump, a filter, and hopefully it works. These ducks though, they're getting huge. It's crazy how fast ducks grow compared to chickens. I also figured we would uh, check out the babies. We got babies on babies on babies in here. What do you got going on in here, mama? Let's see. Watch out, let us see. Watch out, girl, watch it. We got one baby and one egg. Little babies. That baby right there is probably, probably a week old. Right around there. Check it out. I got them a new perch up here, though. They're loving it. They love this 2 by 4 up here. Game changer. Well, here's our other little pair of babies. We have two, four, five babies in the loft. And right under them, it's these little guys right here. Check them out. Young, young babies, them guys are. They're gonna be white ones there, you can tell. I'm telling you, these white birds, they are crazy producers. That's the, that is mama's baby on her uh, right, or on her left, right there on my right. And then, that right there, that's daddy right there. I'm telling you, once we get a pond out here, these will be some free range ducks and chickens. <laughs> Cause I guarantee you, once we get the pond out here, You'll probably be able to let them out all day and they ain't gonna go nowhere. They hang out. Oh, but originally when I filmed this video afterwards, I was like, I don't know if I'm even gonna make this a video and, and upload it just due to, due to, I don't like putting a lot of drama on the channel. As a lot of you know, uh, I'm just not about that life really. But this one, this one here, this incident, um, I really felt attacked, you know, um, we never, talked junk or or bashed our buddy up there uh and and the way he went about it by saying we you bashed me you hoaxed things you you uh edit your videos to make them look the way you want them i felt attacked and when that happens guess what you're gonna get a response and sorry if it's not the response you wanted or not nice enough but dude you could have been way nicer you could have been like hey i'm sorry i didn't realize blah 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 without saying all the extra jazz you know what i mean so in that regard it is what it is we're gonna move on we're still trapping pigeons up there and uh a little little tip for you all out there if it's hot if it's summertime even if it isn't summertime even if it's winter you got to keep water in them traps especially when it's hot those pigeons go uh, a few hours in 100 degree weather on a black roof uh, on any roof for that matter without water they're gonna die now no 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 the wheat is getting cut right now i'd say 45 percent of the wheat's probably cut here in my area so you know what that means oh the pigeon hunting is firing up they're starting to disperse into new fields uh me and girl scouted them all yes all day yesterday actually and they're starting to disperse and we're gonna get a pigeon hunt here real soon I know you guys have been asking for pigeon hunts wondering why we have it finally the wheat's cut the crops coming off so it's going to give them more options for fields now the pigeon trapping it has slowed way 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 down I think in the last week Jordan uh, he's caught two pigeons in the last week I've caught no pigeons so something's happening they're they're getting up I, I'm pretty sure they know that the crops coming off and they're hitting the fields more so that's good for the pigeon hunting you know what I mean so if you guys have been missing the pigeon hunting, drop a comment down below and let me know. Let me know that you guys want to see it. I'm going to do it either way. I'm ready to squeeze the trigger. But I really want to thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at you guys with a video every other day. Every other day, no matter what. If you guys haven't went over to Ducks Waterfowl yet and checked out all the America Freedom gear, oh yeah, it's all available and it's 15% off till July 5th. So go down in the description, hit the Ducks Waterfowl link, go over there, pick you something up, because when you do, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. If you guys didn't purchase ducks, the channel would not be here still. I mean it. So I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Big shout out to all my new subscribers out there. I see y'all. What up? But until next time. Peace. <laughs> I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that keeps it real